Okay, so the biology exam for a lot of people is coming up on Tuesday, and uh, so I thought I'd offer a few sort of last minute pieces of advice, some tips, some hints as to maybe how to prepare for that exam coming up. Um, my first piece of advice is to maybe try and stay true to yourself. What I mean by that is, you know how much revision you've done, you know how well you've prepared. Don't let others put you off. It's very easy for your friends to say to you, oh, have you learned this, have you learned that? Oh, I think this is gonna come up. That's just gonna throw you off. You need to focus on what you've done, what you've prepared, and just be confident in your own ability and your own knowledge. Now, that's easier said than done, isn't it? You really need to get off social media that night before the exam, I think. Um, switch your phone off, try and be strong about that a good hour before bedtime. Otherwise, people will be panicking each other out and, and uh, sending messages about stuff. Same in the morning, it's not good to wake up and just start all that. You need to focus on the exam the next day. Um, do some of that revision the night before, but don't sit there in bed doing it just before you go to sleep. Um, try and listen to some music and uh, switch off a little bit, okay? You need a good night's sleep, it's very, very important before the exam. Similarly, you need to eat well. In the morning, you must eat well. Your brain uses a lot of glucose. So if you want to perform well in the exam, you've got to have eaten some decent sort of carbohydrates in the morning that you're going to provide you with the energy you need. Make sure that you've got the right equipment. Um, get a cal you need a calculator for biology. You're going to need a, a sharp pencil, a rubber for your graph. Um, always do your graphs and pencil in case they go wrong. You can rub them out. Um, a couple of pens. Um, and uh, make sure you've got all that ready to go. So again, you, you, that, you don't want things that can throw you off, anything that could affect that result um, or your concentration in the exam. Um, another thing I think probably is, you know, when you get to the exams, you need, when you're in the exam hall, you need to take your time on the paper, um, pace yourself, pace yourself, work through the questions methodically. If you don't like maths questions though, and calculations, maybe you could leave those till later. You don't want to get shut, thrown by one of those and spending too long on that. Um, if you like, if you're doing IGC, then you'll have uh, set questions like the Corms questions, where you have to design an experiment. You might, some people like to get those out of the way, straight away, uh, get that done. So it's a big question, six marks. Um, and uh, make sure you read the command word really carefully. Underline it, that kind of exam technique, and when you're in under that pressure of the exam, that can um, that can be really effective because you just don't read the question carefully. You're rushing, you're looking for the next dotted line. What's the next question coming up? So read the question carefully. Underline the command word so that it forces you to make note of it. If it's a described question, then you need to describe the results, the pattern of results. Do so they go up? Do they go down? How much do they go up by? If it's an explain question, you have to use science and biology to explain why, why the graph does that, why the results show that. If it's a suggest question, then you should be able to apply what you know to that situation. Um, and generally, your, your answers need to be very specific to the point and use all the key terms and key, key terminology. Don't waste time re rewriting out the question again. Um, just hit the answer straight off um, and get those words in there. That's what the mark schemes are looking for. Okay, but um, apart from that, it's about being confident in what you've learned and how hard you've worked. Um, you can't do anything about it. You can, you know, cramming is fine for the last 24 hours. There's a lot to be said. You can get a lot of information in your short term memory in that time. But um, you don't want to be still trying to do that when you're waiting outside the exam room in the morning, on the morning, or um, the afternoon of the exam. And you don't really want to be doing it the final thing before bed. If you've got some nice little flashcards that you've made, you can just have a quick read through, through those. Just keep refresher, keep reminding you. But again, my, probably my biggest tip is to be confident in your own ability. Don't get let other people throw you off. Same uh, in the morning when you're waiting outside the exam hall. Try and get yourself on your own or in a quiet place or with a friend who you know is not going to be necessarily stressing you out about that exam, okay? Uh, and go in and do your best. That's all you can do if you've worked hard.